Welcome back to Dreamin' Does Gaming. Dreamin' here playing some more Earthbound. So we made it art to the desert in case you haven't noticed that yet. Uh, yeah. Outside here. Ooh, magic butterfly, but I don't think we need one. Oh, we could. Alright, go get that. So, there's some things to do here in the desert. Um... A lot of stuff we can't do quite yet, but I'm gonna try and get as much as we can done here. Uh, we're going to move around some inventory, I think. Do we not need this hard hat anymore? I guess not. Alright, that's something we'll have to sell. How much money do we have? Uh, where does it? 692. Yeah, we need a lot more money than that. Yeah, last time we went out and, uh, bought ourselves a house. Good times. Uh, yeah, but uh, this time we're going to be wandering around the desert for a little bit and hopefully find all the cool little secrets that I remember. Nice, good change. 12 more offense. Yeah, buy the old bat. Uh, let's see, a thick frying pan, she already has some, oh, deluxe frying pan, that's the one we wanted, yeah. <laughs> nice, ten extra. And then we're gonna get a couple coins of slumbers. Yeah, cause we don't need that, oh, just one coin of slumber, apparently. This should be a good boost. Yeah, 4863. That's nice. Hard hat. Take that. And then we're going to sell the other hard hat. Because we don't need that anymore. Oh, that's everything, I think. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, it's this guy that we want to talk to. We need some wet towels here. There's a reason for this. Um, here in the desert, if you go outside and you're on the sand, uh, you have a chance of... Sorry. Uh, you have a chance of getting heat stroke and to combat heat stroke you need to have some wet towels for your head so just buy a couple for everybody Ness doesn't need as many because he wears a hat oh jeez alright oh. our beds are really old and dusty <laughs> doesn't even look like they have beds here well, we don't need as much money as we have on us. And two thousand dollars can go back. Yeah, we should be good with that. Now let's go wander this desert for some cool little things. Little moles running away. Shh! Don't talk too loud. What do you want? Uh, some more bottle rockets, I think. Because we don't have anymore so we'll buy two more bottle rockets because they're fantastic sweet nothing over here right yeah okay it's been a while since I've been in the desert so go beat up this mole There are some easy monsters here, some not so easy ones. Coo 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 coo. Welcome. Kiki ki ki ki. Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Yaku kiki. Talarama is great and kind. Nikki kiki. He knows everything. Talarama does. 
He made us the underground rooms. So the monkeys live underground. And we don't need to uh, go over there yet. You will eventually, though. Ooh, cute little UFO. Ah, uh, Jeff has heat stroke. Shoot. All right, we want to kill the scalpion first. Because it can poison us. And the cute little UFO just does a lot of da damage. Ah, oh, he poisoned us. Poison hurts. Uh, recover. Do that. Bash, shoot. That's a lot of damage to take from poison. Try not to fight the scorpions if we can help it, that's for sure. Ooh, a present. A, no, a cookie. That's a terrible present. Alright. So we can use the wet towel. There we go, and you can also use the cookie with Jeff. A little bit of health, but works. Ooh, present. A double burger inside, nice. Alright, what are we fighting here? And it's cohort, the Crested Buka. Alright, let's kill that thing first. I don't know how... Yeah. I don't remember what it does. Ouch! Okay, it hurts. That's what it does. Smash. Nice smash. Uh, you're going to need to recover Jeff. And you guys can bash that. Yeah, these enemies here in the desert are pretty nasty. Lots of experience, though. Ooh, bag of fries. Nice. It's always a good thing. Uh, use on Paula. Let's get them back up to hell. Now there's something here we were trying to find. Aha! See this little black dot there? Why would you feel like talking to a tiny black sesame like me? I want to apologize to the white sesame that I hurt before. If I could just see her. Now, here we go. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles. <laughs> wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. <laughs> I still like it how Ness is the only one that actually... Oh, the heck is this thing? That he even, like, cares that he's getting a picture taken. <laughs> A smiling sphere. Uh, I want to kill this guy because he hurts so much. I want to say the smiling sphere might explode after it dies. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Ouch. 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 Uh, yeah, you guys need to eat some food, I think. Oh, you don't have any food to eat. Alright. Good. Yeah. 
man. Alright, so this thing is nasty. Yeah, the enemies here, they hurt. Ex yeah, exploded into bits. Come on. Get. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Have to go through that quick so they take less damage. Lots of experience though. 28, nice. Offense by 3, defense by 2, speed by 3, that's nice. Vitality by 1, IQ by, wow, that's a lot of IQ. Luck by 1, HP by 11, that's really good. Alright, one sec here. Uh, what's his IQ now? 28, nice. Uh, side, life up beta, and then life up alpha, and we'll avoid that, scorpion, no presents up here, there's a bunch of presents around the outside here, a dog, alright, we can deal with that, oh, desert wolf, right, Oh, it's poisonous. Ah, oh, son of a... Alright. We're gonna be going through our, uh... side points quickly here. Which is not really a good thing. Oh, something shiny down there. We'll go grab that in a second. Another double burger. What is this? Something shiny. The set of contact lenses. Alright. Read the sign. I lost a pair of contact lenses here in the dusty dunes desert. They were a memento from my grandma. And very important to me. If you find them, bring them to me, and I'll give you a reward. I'm Pentella. Giovanni, find me at the Foresight Bakery, second floor. Alright, so we have something else we're going to be needing to do here. Once we get to Foresight. Aha, there's another present. Side caramel inside, those things are fantastic. I'm going to need a sugar packet for them though. Uh, aha, there's another present. Sudden Guts Pill. That we can just sell. We don't really need that. Oh, someone's got a... Paula's got heat stroke. Or sunstroke. Oh, there we go. Get on the road here so we don't take any damage. We'll go up here shortly, but there's some pretty cool thing that I want to show you guys here. Yeah, here they are. I'm a broken slot machine, but the Sanchez brothers and their friends are a very cheerful trio. They will make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? Sure. Well, didn't get anything. That's a shame. But, back here is one of the nicest presents you find in a while. Let's open the present. As his and friends got a thousand dollars. That's awesome. We can go this way more and we'll find the uh, traffic jam. I don't think there's anyone really to talk to or if they do anything here. Oh. Hello. It's your dad. You've been out there. Oh, this again. Yeah. He just wants us to take a break. Oh. Oh good, I thought he was going to, like, end end it there. Not to have been happy. Uh, I, f I thought the traffic jam would have been all done there. Oh, I guess it's all done. Sweet. Um, you can sell anything else? you have anything for poison? I think the refreshing herb is helpful for poison. Just 
just do a quick check on it. It only costs 80 bucks, so I don't mind. Yeah. Alright, that's good to have. Alright, but we want to go back down this way. Then we gotta go find the other sesame seed. And past the Sanchez brothers. It's a desert. And then we want to go up here a little bit. Oh, did I screw this up? Sure did. Now someone's probably going to get heat stroke. Which isn't really surprising. Uh, sigh. Alright, go up this way. Who's got heat stroke? Jeff. Uh, gotta look for a white dot. This hole's great. Good hole, good hole, good hole. First, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, am I starving? Do you have any food you can spare? Yep. So this is actually something you have to do. This advances the story. Uh, what do we want to give them? Pizza? Or a double burger? How about a double burger? I don't know what actually gives more. I find the gold, I'll give it to you! <laughs> awesome. I like gold. Check out the shack. It's a small house, but please stay the night. That's nice. We'll take that. Didn't realize there is a uh, thing here. Uh, where? Oh, where? Ooh, the buffalo. Stay away, buffalo. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, they both came. Jerks. Uh, how about we... Do that. Nice, and then if Ness can... Oh no. That's bad. At least there's that, uh... Free place to stay right down there. It exploded. Ah! Hurry up! No! A bag of fries, oh useful. Okay. Well, was not expecting that. And I don't want to run around here without Paula, because then Ness and Jeff will be getting too much experience. So, we're going to make our way to Foreside. Oh, there's a magic butterfly there. I, mean, I could use the cup of life noodles on her, but those are super valuable. So I'm not going to worry about it, and we're just going to head on over to Foreside. Do -do, do -do, through the tunnel. Over the bridge. Let's get this. Love the music here. Go find the hospital. So nice. I like how the animation for the ghost, or there is no animation for the ghost. You would have thought the wings would have moved or something. Nope. So Farside's pretty cool. It's like a 
city of Forsyth has developed quite a bit since Mr. Gil Gardi Monatoli hit the big time. It's been good for the city. Yeah, it's a pretty large city. Runway 5 from Tucson seemed very popular. I heard that Tapel Theater is always full. We'll come back to that. What happened to those guys digging for buried gold? If they found the gold, it would be worth a huge amount of money. They'd be able to pay off a million dollar debt very easily. If I were them, I'd go to Japan and live it up. <laughs> Speaking of Tapal Theater, there's a new singer called Venus. She's better than the Runaway Five. I'm totally bonkers about her. Okay, Mr. Stalker Man. Department Store. I wonder why the department store is closed. When Monatoli became the owner, this department store began having strange happenings. Temporary closed. Garg! Interesting. Is this the Monatoli Tower? I don't want to go there. You boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Monatoli, aren't you? Why can't you boys do anything? I'll arrest you, no questions asked, but be prepared. Got it, Ness? Ha ha ha, I've already checked out your name. Alright. Interesting. There's the hospital. I knew it was around here somewhere. Who do you want to see? Paula was just brought in and is still unconscious. 150 bucks. Jeez, it's expensive. Alright. And. Yeah, okay. We're pretty well all good. How come, uh. Ness and. Oh, yeah, because we went to the thing. That's right. Now we need to find the bakery. Where is the bake? Oh, hi, random guy drinking. No one knows anything. Grr, Monotoli's toadies stole everything from me. In my house and land. Weep, weep. They are evil incarnate. Lawyer, policeman, everyone that follows Monotoli, they're all his toadies. No matter how you fight them, you can't win. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, jeez. Just leave here my guy with my cha cappuccino. Nosy. Yeah. Actually, that's uh, one of the funny things about this game is... Uh, this guy wasn't intended to have uh, cappuccino. They had to change it to that. And he, uh, I believe in the Japanese version, it's still beer. It still looks like a beer, that's for sure. Cafe. What? Does Mr. Calgard Monotoli come here often? Hello, time to get up. It could never happen. Well, that's not actually true. Kids shouldn't be drinking espresso. <laughs> they should be hanging. And it's a coffee bar here instead of a. <laughs> Which is funny, because there's no coffee machines or anything. It's all booze related. So, isn't there a. Uh... Oh, okay. I thought there was a guy back there you could buy stuff from. Maybe not yet. We gotta find this bakery. I've heard some bad rumors about Mr. Monatoli. I heard he made a deal with a pure evil entity in exchange for power. You know, stuff like that. We gotta go to the Tapel of Theater as well. So we'll do that here shortly. Ah, here's the bakery. In the old days, Mr. Monatoli was just a regular, unattractive real estate agent. Now he has the power to control the police force. I don't think the city of Forsyth is better than before. First floor, Forsyth Bakery. Second floor, second floor of the bakery. <laughs> Uh, alright, we'll go up to the second floor. Hey, Mr. T. I was thinking there's a tight wall up on every minute. Who's got the... you do? What? You came to deliver my grandma's memento? My contact lenses? Thank you. Thank you so much. It's our family tradition to keep things forever. Okay, I'll give you something as a reward. Here's my socks that I use only for special occasions. I've worn these socks for just five years. There's no holes, and they've only been worn once since the last washing. They stink a little, but they're still good. Hey, don't refuse me here. I'm being generous. <laughs> pair of dirty socks. Please take care of my socks. <laughs> That's so wrong. Alright, do a couple other things here, then we'll end the episode. So, first thing that we're going to go do, go check out the Tapel Theater. Do you want to buy a ticket? 30 bucks, please. Thanks a lot. And then we actually have to go and present this ticket. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting at any moment. 
Now, do we have to go see the show first, or can we come in here? Might have to see the show first. So, you're Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me. No, no. This band owes me a million bucks. If I break their contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. The police would probably say, hey, you guys, or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf. Hmm. You'd have to find Barry Gold. Hmm. I wonder where we could find some Barry Gold to help them out. You'd never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, foreshadowing of the game. <laughs> Alright. Can we talk to these people? No. Alright. Go talk to these guys. When Nessa arrives, Runaway fought me. Told me to let him come in. So please, come in. Didn't even ask for my name. Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. We've stuck here with a phony contract. Oh, yeah. We're so helpless. Real, really helpless and hopeless. Yuck, yuck, yuck. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. To meet Galgar Montoli, you'll need our help. I don't exactly know why. It's just a hunch. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle our money or woman. Do wop, do wop, do wop. I was trying to look at the uh, lockers. No, nope, can't look at the lockers. All right, talk to these guys. That's good. Come out here, watch the show again. So enjoy. Have I got a bomb show for you tonight, kids? Ah, uh, kaboom! The runaway five. Yeah, three, two, one, go. Alright, there we go, let's watch the show, always love the music from that show, that show is just awesome. Uh, let's go over here, do we have to talk to them again? We might, so I'm just going to, so you're run away, okay, it's still the same thing, but just wanted to make sure that we didn't miss something here, because I've done this before where, oh, we've come through here and it's just a pain sometimes if you if you forget to do something you have to come back to foresight and go back to the desert and back to foresight <laughs> oh hi all right one last thing to do here let's go check out the monotoli tower what is that over this way i should probably use my map but yeah who needs a map Last night, there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait, do you know what solitaire is? I'm an elite businessman who works in Mr. Monotoli's office. Good for you. Hello, babyface. What brings you to the Monotoli building? Alright, let's go in here. This elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. Master Pokey goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else and set it behind me? <laughs> I like how she says this is only intended for this person's use and lets us ride up anyways. Alright, let's get out of here. 
Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here. Don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious if you can take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. That's rude. Whoops, I was almost going to beat you up. Do we go in here now? Go check it out. Oh, yeah. That's where we go. So we're going to go check out this room over here. Ow, Pokey's dead. You haven't changed much, Ness. I'm Alice's Minch Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. Ha, 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 ha,
Nice, there we go. Ouch, that's a lot of damage. Oh, probably gonna sneeze here, one sec. <coughs> Alright. Oh, glad that we got out that out of the way. Whew. Picnic lunch, nice. Get out of here. Uh, go use this wet towel on Ness and on Paula. Now, where is this sesame seed? It's a white one. A white one. Ah, there it is. It's a big bottle rocket inside. Nice. I'll have to give that to Oh, what's his name? I heard that the black sesame I used to love is somewhere in this desert. If you see him, please tell me that I still love him. Really? You seen him already? Was he okay? Hmm, I see. Alright. So first off, give that to Jeff. So... Yeah, big buffalo is gonna hurt. We're gonna wanna kill that thing pretty quick, I think. Uh, you know what? I really don't mind if we use that right now. Oh, Jeff is... Let's use that. Jeff has uh, heat stroke, so that's not good. Nice, got it. And can we kill it before? Oh, oh good, it's only a howl. That's nice. There we go. Lots of experience for everyone, which is always a good thing. Come over here. Oh, you don't have any more. We're out of wet towels. All right. I guess we're just using a normal life up on uh, life up healing on Jeff. Then we're going to use a bag of fries on Jeff. Not much HP, but it works. We need to come down here and buy ourselves uh, some more wet towels it looks like. Yeah. We're going to kill this wolf. Good. Ouch. That's not very much damage. I was hoping that we could... We're still going to Psy Freeze him. Some nice damage there. A war cry? Wow. That's nasty. There we go. Paul is level 29. Nice. Luck by 1. HP by 3. PP by 1. Power of defense down. No, well, that's not too shabby. Uh. Ah, yes! Never see these. These things are awesome. Ness and his friends gain 10,128 experience each. <laughs> I don't remember what they're called, but they're fantastic. If you can find them, perfect for leveling up. Uh, level 32, offense by 2, nice speed by 2, guts by 2, vitality by 2, IQ by 1, luck by 2, sweet maximum. Wow! PP by 5, Jeff's level 29, guts by 1, HP by 3. Yeah, I don't remember what they're called. That's the only bad thing. But they're pretty fantastic. Uh, stupid spear of death. Um, just freeze it and shoot. Oh, I already killed it. Nice. Ouch. Okay, don't kill him. No. Ah. 
Sai. So close to being at the drugstore. So close. This is all I wanted to do. Come over here. We want to stay the night. <laughs> uh, this this is terrible. And Paula still has heat stroke, so yeah, we're gonna get ourselves a bunch of wet towels again. And one more. There we go. Because we're going to use one right away, so. Paul. There we go. Now it's unfortunate that Jeff is dead. Uh, what time is it? Stand in the street, read the schedule from the sidewalk. We can go back to Foresight, revive him, and come back and finish off the uh, whole thing here. Foresight, I can't let you on if you don't pay four dollars for the fare. Do you want to go? Yep. We'll go get him back. Then we'll come back here, finish off the sesame seeds, and end the episode. <laughs> really like the bus music too, it's really good. Might edit this part out. We'll see. There we go. Get to the hospital. I think it's just off this main drag. Never remember. Do 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 do. There it is. Hospital. We're gonna visit Jeff this time. Cause Jeff's a jerk and he died. Hundred and fifty bucks. Ouch. Back to the desert. What's this store? Lots of junk like this ball torn at the junk shop. Busted up located in the back alley of the department store. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to go there eventually. There's some cool gadgets that, uh... Planning meeting for Earthbound 2. Only those who related project allowed to enter. <laughs> Square team. Uh, that's funny. Can't get into that building, though. At least not to my knowledge. Come down here. There's the bus stop. Goes to two soon via three. Cuss six bucks. Yeah. We'll do that, but we're getting off at the desert.
pretty sure you can get off it in the desert, so I hope so. Otherwise, this will be a pain. Yeah. I want to get off here. Thank you. Goodbye. Alright. Gotta go find this black sesame seed. Somewhere up here. And we gotta cut across and go find the darn poisonous <laughs> these things are a pain okay, at least it only attacked didn't use its stinger Skelpion no one leveled up it's a shame uh, ooh, stay away from sunbathers we sleep in the desert, so we're often mistaken for corpses. But a corpse doesn't usually wear a bathing suit, right? Hey, stop staring at my tan lines. Go <laughs> away. Annoying kids. What a group of bats. Scat, you little monsters. Yeah. Why would you feel like talking to a tiny black sesame like me? I want to apologize to the white sesame that I hurt before. If I could just see her. What? The white sesame still loves me? Weep, weep. Alright. Uh, who's... Yeah. Use on Jeff. Ooh, look at that. Skip sandwich DX inside. Might not be a bad idea to have one of those right now. Ah, oh, darn it. Bash the skelpion, bash the skelpion, shoot the skelpion. Side thunder. Take that, deflect that right back at you. <laughs> That's awesome. The reason why we keep that. I didn't know that the Skelpion could use that. A cookie inside. Oh, goody. Apollo's level 30. Nice. Offense by 2, IQ by 1, HP by 1, and PP by 4. Always a good thing. As sea monkeys live in the sea, desert monkeys live in the desert. Desert. I mean desert, not desert. I'm happy that there are animals in the desert, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Does the buffalo make it? I don't think it did. Nice. Good. Probably fight the buffalo after this, because it gives a lot of experience, so. Oh, this thing's so quick. But Paul is quicker. Ah, poisoned. Just like half his health and damage right there. That's terrible. Oh. And quick sigh healing. And then life up. Nice. Free attacks. Ah, oh, and they're all... <laughs> Sonoda. <laughs> Heat stroked up. Smash. Good smash. Another smash? Oh, great. Apparently Paula does not like buffaloes. <laughs> Interesting bunch more experience. Alright. Quickly do this. Uh, use on Paula. And use on Jeff. And use on Paula. And we'll run around here a lot quicker. I heard that the black sesame I used to love is somewhere in this desert. If you see him, please tell him that I still love him. Really? You seen him already? Was he okay? Hmm, I see. Ah, I thought we could run him out. That's sad. Side thunder. That's okay. Franklin badge deflected it. Take that. Yeah, keep doing that nice and easy nice 
Pass level 33, offense by 1, HP by 2, PP by 1. Piss off, dog. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff over here. I want to apologize to Light Sesame that I heard before. If I could just see her. What? White Sesame still loves me? Weep, weep. So it's all the same. All right. So I don't think we can pick them up or anything. Uh, Psy, Gaming, Bash, Shoot. Of course. Smash, wow. Those scalpions are uh, pretty weak, apparently. This is gonna hurt, though. 250, come on. Go quicker, 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 quicker. <laughs> ah, so many buttons. It's to mash. All right. We're just gonna do a little bit of life up on everybody. Now we go back to the sesame and just make sure that we don't have to uh, do anything else with it. I don't remember. I think that's everything. Bunch more experience. There we go. I think we got all the presents in here too, which is nice. There's a magic butterfly over there, but we don't need that. Ah, I used to love somewhere in this desert. If you see him, please tell him that I still love him. Really? You've seen him already? Was he okay? Mm, I see. We can't, like, pick it. Yeah, we can't pick it up. So I think that's all we can do. Well. Son of a. Like, just stop. This is going to be bad. Yeah, that was going to hurt. Offense, uh, gaming, fire, shoot. There we go. So we're going to go over to the house where the excavation is, sleep for the night, then we'll end the episode there. And just be safe so Paula doesn't like just randomly die. She is pretty weak like that. Yeah, here we go. It's a small house, but please stay the night. Perfect, done. Pick up the receiver, we're gonna call Dad. It's your dad, deposited a punches of money into your account. $9,846, I wish I had that much. Uh, just the only one semi close to a level record. So also think about hitting the hay night. Create a record of your adventure to this point. Good night, sleep tight. We're gonna continue. You guys see like to work hard just like your mother, etc. etc. Click beep. Now, speaking of which, we should probably call her. So how's your adventure going? Hmm, I see. It sounds like you're having some tough times and your teacher dropped by looking for you. Don't worry, I covered for you. Everything is fine here. You keep on trucking. Well my soap opera is getting to really steamy parts, so I better let you go. Bye. Alright, and with that we're going to end the episode here, so again, thank you for watching Dream Windows Gaming, playing some Earthbound, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.